Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC featherweight division title. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at I don't know how this guy's getting a title shot at 17 and nine. I mean, he's the ninth ranked fighter in the world, and he's getting the title shot. And if you think back four fights ago, we put this dude to sleep with the mean uppercut. Holding a professional record of 31 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall. I mean, our longevity is on a sliver. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. And as long as we go out as champion, I'll be happy. As long as the rest of my fights, Bruce Buffer is announcing me like that, I'm cool. All right, so for the championship, you've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. The fighters touch gloves. All the tape says to not go to the ground with this guy at all, at all costs. And I have said recently that that's been my strategy. So that kind of goes against the strategy, but like I said, four fights ago, we did it to him. Oh. Oh. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Right single collar tie now. And he comes through with a big knee. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh! oh. <laughs> The side of the head, right behind the ear, just broke his skull. UFC featherweight champion getting the knockout on the oh my god! The sport. Very impressive result here tonight. That's ladies and gentlemen. That's probably that's definitely our best knockout. I think this guy doesn't get to fight us anymore. <laughs> he sh he shouldn't want to fight us, anyways. Salty ass Dana. Forty-eight percent longevity. Are we done? Are we retired now? Oh my guy. I mean, we're 
any one of these fights could be our last fight. Like I said, as long as I'm champion, we've defended the belt. Dana refuses to give us performance of the night all the time. But we've defended the belt officially. We are a real champion. We've won three fights for the belt total. I think that puts us in GOAT territory. Because, I mean, we've had at least 25 submission victories. Which means we've had all those finishes. Those are big records. That is a real pretty stone to put in our beautiful looking belt. A massive KO a minute and 20 seconds into the fight. Oh, and what a rematch we are looking at right here. I'm sure he's been wanting this shot at us for a long time. If you don't remember, Max Holloway was absolutely wearing us out in our first ever title shot but we somehow got him to the ground and choked him out because we are the most dangerous submission artist in UFC history that's what we do and that's what we're gonna do again in this rematch go to the ground as quick as possible take care of business